In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add text behind any object in your video, including yourself, inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm going to start right now. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay in the loop and be notified when we release new videos. So first up, go ahead and load up Premiere Pro. Then you want to create a new sequence and place your video on your timeline. Then go ahead and create a text layer. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and type in Iceland and the font that I'm using, Montserrat Extra Bold. And what I've done is I've just simply placed it in the center of my video. And what I wanna do is actually have the main subject, aka the person, to be in front of the text. So to do that, simply with your video clip selected, hold down Alt or Option and drag above your main video clip, copying that layer. So you should have a layer sandwich here. You've got your video, then you've got your text, then you've got your video. Now with the top layer video selected, we now want to go ahead and create a mask. And we've actually got three masks inside Premiere Pro to choose from. So if we go ahead and open up your effects controls with that layer selected, you want to drop down to where you can see it says opacity. And just underneath there, you've got a create elliptical mask, square mask, and then the pen tool. So if your object circle or square, this is super easy, but because my object is a custom shape, AKA a person, we're going to need to cut him out. So I'm gonna go ahead, select my pen tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and zoom into my video and then carefully create a selection. The better the selection, the better the overall cutout will be in your video. Okay, so once you've finished your mask selection, we now need to apply the right feather amount for your cutout. So for example, mine is in the foreground, so it means it's nice and sharp, the depth of field is focusing on the person, so we need to drop the feather amount, and by default, it's 10 pixels inside Premiere Pro. So inside your brand new mask, drop down to where it says mask feather, then match it depending on the feather that you need. So for example, in my case, I'm choosing three pixels. Now if we go ahead and zoom out and we press play, you'll see that it's cut out. Now, if your subject doesn't move, you are now finished. But if your subject does move, we now need to make sure that the mask is tracked to your subject moving. And depending on how complicated your mask or depending on which process might work better. So for example, if I go ahead back to the main clip, if you want to do it automatically, all you'll need to do is click on where it says mask path and simply press the play button. And in most cases, this should work, automatically applying a mask to your moving subject. But sometimes it doesn't work. So for example, in my case, if I go ahead and now press play, you can see that if when we zoom in, it doesn't fully track it perfectly. So what we might need to do is to create our own custom movement mask. And we can actually do this quite easily, although it does take a little bit of time. So to do that, all you'll need to do is simply go to your mask path, go to the right at the start of your video and go ahead and toggle in your keyframe. Then go ahead and move a certain amount through your video. So in my case, I'm gonna move an entire second Go ahead and zoom in with your mask path selected. You now just need to move all of the anchor points. And so this video is not super long. I'll go ahead and do that now. Six and a half hours later. So as you can see, now if I go ahead and zoom out, now the mask is fully tracked to our subject. So now if I go ahead and press play, you can see the mask now moves with our subject. So that is how you can easily place an object in front of your text inside Premiere Pro. And if you want to add a few more effects, you can either animate your text and you can also do a slight pinch in or pinch out to add a little bit of movement to your video. So that is how you can add text behind any object in Premiere Pro. If this video helped you out, make sure to go ahead and give it a like. Plus consider subscribing if you like content like this because I make videos just like this every single week. I've been James for Video Fever and I'll catch you guys next time.